Hey guys, it's Steve Fowler here. This is a video to change out the stock Walkira QRX 350 Pro radio, whichever you have, Devo 7, uh, 12, 12 FE, whatever, um, with the Trans. This is not for beginners, it's very advanced. So if you don't feel comfortable with it, don't even try it. And for all the DJI lovers and the Walkira X350 Pro haters, just keep your comments to yourself, this isn't for you. Also, for the 350 Pro um, users watching this, obviously, you need to do the firmware update to 1.5. 1.0 is good, 1.5 is good, 1.2 does have GPS issues. You can also do an auto tune, um, it will save you a lot of problems. Anyway, alright, let's get into this. There's a lot of forms out there to give you more detailed information on this radio. It's got every feature you could ever imagine on it, that's why I chose it. I'm not going to get into battery calibration, voltages, RSSI settings. This is going to be how you connect the receiver, replace the receiver, the, the Dever receiver with um, the uh, X8R that came with my Tranus. It's a good one. Also, for these videos, if you like them and you find them interesting, Subscribe, share them, all that, because if I don't get any subscribers, I'm done doing this. Anyway, there's usually one wire coming out of here to the stock receiver. That's gone. You gotta get these little you know, 10 centimeter servo extension leads. I got these like 10 pack for like 4 or $5 on eBay. You're gonna need a couple of them. I'll show you a picture, I'll post a picture. You can uh, pause the video, write it down, whatever you wanna do. How they connect these to your X8R. The the case that comes with the X8R is too big to fit where the old receiver did, so you have to take it out of the case. Don't use the FreeSky S Bus to CCPM. It will work. I haven't done any extensive testing on it yet. The thing is, when it using a fail safe, all um, all channels go to zero, so it's up to the APM, which is the Dev OM. Okay, the first thing we have to do is bind the receiver. Uh, this is hard to explain, so I have to keep pausing the video. If it's skipping at all, whatever, sorry. It took me forever to figure this out, seriously. And I'm doing this for your guys' help. With this thing, there's a button on it right here. You have to figure out a way to get your battery just enough so it doesn't go on. Hold in the button and give it power. Red and green lights. Your train is. Welcome to Tyrannus. Manual mode. I'll list the settings to do the stock, whatever I have. Um, we'll get back into this later. Push page. Model setup. I'm gonna go up. I'm not gonna go through everything. Right here, fail safe mode. No pulses. Default is hold. You wanna change it to no pulses. It's extremely important. Bind. Let me see this one. As soon as you push it, it starts flashing. That's how long it takes it to bind. Enter. Unplug and receiver power. Exit. Right, you want everything off. Turn your radio on. Welcome to Tyrannus. Manual mode. And give it power. I'm using 1.5, like I said, it takes a little bit longer, the light will flash. Solid green here, um, it's bound. 
It's going to flash for a few minutes, a few seconds. People get very impatient here and freak out and say it's not working, but I assure you it does work. We're just going to wait so we can see how long mine takes. I do have a guide on my channel on how to upgrade to 1.5 if you're not using it. See? Done. All right. Look over. Oh my god, the motor's a lot. A lot of people have problems with that. Next up. Okay, so computer time. Obviously, it's a computer. But the quad. Open. Mission planner. If yours doesn't connect, you don't have the drivers for it. Watch my upgrading to 1.5 video because it shows you all of that. Plug it in. I'm a little annoyed by this thing. I've been dealing with this for about three weeks now. I finally got it figured out. So. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not all chippity. I'm tired of looking at it, actually. Plug it in. Ready on. Lipo. Pump port four is on that now. Connect. Initial setup. Mandatory hardware. Radio calibration. So elevator down. I can't read what mine's saying. It's saying uh, 991. Throttle all the way down. 864. It's off. You want them all to be the same. I'll correct this. The radio. Menu. Page. Mixer. Channel 3, edit, wait, down to 80, for me, yours might be up or down a little bit, enter, exit, 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 alright, my throttle now reads 992, all the way down, 991. Roll over, I can't do it. Uh, Yaw over. 990. They're all about the same. All right. Recommend doing a radio calibration at this point. Signal low 24 dB. Signal low 24 dB. Telemetry lost. I'm too close to the receiver, that's why it's freaking out. All right. Telemetry recovered. Roll down, throw up. Down, up, up. GPS mode, return to launch. Manual mode. These full player switches. Like I said, this is very advanced. If you're at this point, you should know what you're doing with the trance anyway. Telemetry lost. Telemetry Cal recovered. Calibrated. Fallacy. Take props off your quad, which you have to to get the top off. Trust me. Uh, right here, the RC airplane, like a year and a half ago, got me one day. I wasn't paying attention. If you move your radio away from it, it'll 
stop complaining. All right. This is the difference between the CCPM, the S bus connector, versus using all the different wires. Radio three. It's your throttle. Come on, set for nine seventy five. Always RT out nine seventy five. Okay. Set nine nine two right now at lowest power setting because that's what we just recalibrated to and change the weight of it. On the quad. Throttle up. If you get a little bit of throttle, you can't get on like 5%. Alright. Turn the radio off. Land mode. The reason why is because I don't have the GPS plugged in because of the top of it off. It doesn't know where to RTL to, so it's going to land. Turn the radio back on. To get out of land, switch modes to whatever. Still throttles up, so. And then you can lock the motors again. That's how you regain control once you get a signal back. You have to switch to flight mode. Well, I hope you guys like my video. It's how to put the X8R in the Walkura QRX350 Pro for the trans. This is the plus version, it doesn't really matter, I don't believe. And get it to work so the fail safe works. Um, I'll tell you what, if you don't have that set the way I showed you, if that radio loses signal, it will stay. It'll hold it. This FS new pulse is extremely important. If you don't, it'll hold it, and if you were to say going forward or up or anywhere, it's going to fly away from you. We definitely don't want any flyaways or any crap talk from the DJI fanboys. Their little niece can go and fly that quad. It's a nice radio upgrade. It's a great radio. It's my favorite radio. The Devo 7 is really good and sturdy. It's just, you know, I have no use for it. If you uh, like my video, please subscribe, like, comment. I can't be here all the time to respond back, but if anyone sees a comment, I'll comment back. All right. Thanks for watching my video. See Fowler. 